So when the blue screen error message pops up for like one tenth of a second, I can catch it on my slow-mo camera <laughs> and then look back at the footage, like pause that one frame that captured this, this blue screen error message. Oh, and it... I'd like to give you guys an update on the GoV Glide LED lights, GoV sent me some more and I ended up putting them right on the office door over here as well. They look really good, of course, full RGB capabilities and everything. When we walk through this door, we have even more of them. And as you can see, I finally finished this entire like doorway. So you can indeed add one more and there's no problems. But I will make a dedicated review video about these lights where I actually measure each individual part, test the maximum length that these can even support. But at the moment, this is how they're looking like on either side of the door, basically. But today's video is not about those LED lights. It's about this PC build. And uh, me finally, possibly, maybe, you know, I don't want to talk too soon, you know, knock on wood, fixed the blue screens, all right? We might have actually fixed them. Oh, <laughs> oh it's bugged out. It's bugged out, dude. My mouse, I can't click, bro. Are you kidding me? Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> Where's my game gone, man? Where's my taskbar gone? My taskbar is gone. It's disappeared. I can't do anything. Oh, and it blue screened. And it's the same one. Locate the driver that is causing the problem, mate. You're funny. Let me give you some backstory of what actually even led me to figure out what was causing this blue screen of death over and over again to hopefully help you or anyone you know that might be experiencing a similar thing where your PC just blue screens and you Google the problem and the error message, all of the results don't help. None of the solutions help because I was convinced I'm like, I'd probably ran some software or like some installation somewhere maybe went wrong on Windows 11. It's Windows 11 that initially had the blue screens of death. Hence leading me to think, all right, it's probably Windows 11, right? I maybe installed some incompatible software, which I did have a bunch of like tweaks that I had done to the OS. And I thought, all right, maybe one of them just isn't compatible. So I ended up reinstalling Windows 11. I think like that same day when the, when the blue screens just started getting really bad. Then I basically tried to do like a cleaner version of Windows 11, as little apps as possible installed. Then I installed like a couple games that I was trying to record a video for and the blue screens immediately came back. Uh, initially, just when I'd launch a game and I'd be in the game for like 30 seconds, boom, blue screen. Then it got to the point where if I try to move a file just anywhere around the system, any size file, it tries to move it and then blue screens. And I was like, what? So I ended up swapping out like my RAM. I ended up swapping the SSD out, putting the RAM in different slots, putting the SSD in different slots, putting my graphics card in different slots. Um, I ended up going back to Windows 10 after I think installing Windows 11 like two or three times thinking, all right, maybe Windows 11 just has given up on me completely. Like at one point I even paused all Microsoft updates on Windows 11 just because I'm like, all right, maybe one of the Microsoft Windows updates are just absolutely corrupted or they're just incompatible with my system for some reason. So I paused all of the updates on one Windows 11 installation and just stayed on like what came with the like ISO that I installed. Didn't help whatsoever, still blue screened. So I went back to Windows 10. That time, because I kind of knew, I'm like, all right, something is going on. I didn't put any of my sensitive files back on that SSD, expecting that, yo, I'm gonna probably have to reset Windows by the end of today. This cannot be a software problem. I've installed Windows like three or four times now. Surely it's something hardware related, all right? I don't believe that Windows could corrupt itself or some installation or some service could have a problem three or four times in a row on like a fresh OS install. The first thought that actually came to my mind to uh, replace a part was not this, but my GPU power cables. Cause I still kind of thought, I'm like, maybe it's like a graphics card problem or something. Hence why I was kind of moving the graphics card in different uh, PCIe slots on the motherboard. Instead of changing out the power cables for my graphics card, uh, which are just extension cables that are sleeved. Instead I thought, let me swap out this RGB Lian Li cable. That's like for your 24 pin motherboard power. This is the first part I properly swapped out for something else. I just swapped it out for a different sleeved 24 pin extension cable for my motherboard. Not as fancy as this RGB one, of course, which isn't actually like beautiful product. The way the RGB effects work on this thing, 
very impressive. Lian Li did an incredible job with this piece of tech right here. It's uh, very nice to look at indeed. Very advanced LED lighting effects. Uh, one thing I should note is that I did try to connect this to my Razer ARGB hub that's inside of the PC. And this is the one device that would not work with the three pin five volt ARGB header. When plugged into the Razer ARGB hub, that's like a separate hub to control RGB devices. Like everything else is plugged into the Razer hub, no problems. Um, but this, this perhaps maybe had so much RGB that <laughs> my Razer hub couldn't handle it. But when you plug it into your motherboard's three pin five volt ARGB header, no problems, it works as normal, of course. But after removing this, I basically rebooted my PC, launched the game, and I was like, huh, the system just doesn't feel like it's even tempting me that it's gonna blue screen or anything. It's just it's so stable all of a sudden. Like I couldn't believe that just replacing this, this 24 pin cable immediately resolved the blue screens. I don't think the PC has blue screened once since replacing this thing. What made this process like super aggravating is that the blue screen error messages, like I think I caught it on camera like once or twice. So I'm gonna put a clip on screen now, but the blue screen error messages would only pop up for like a quarter of a second. Like the blue screen would, would like begin to load from like the top of your screen. And by the time it gets to the bottom, your screen just goes black and you cannot see the error message. Like it would load the blue screen and for like one tenth of a second, you could catch a glimpse of what the error message was when your PC blue screened. And that was driving me insane. I had to pull my phone out and when I think it's about to blue screen, I start recording my screen in like slow motion camera view. So when the blue screen error message pops up for like one tenth of a second, I can catch it on my slow-mo camera <laughs> and then look back at the footage, like pause that one frame that captured this, this blue screen error message to try to Google what is causing this. But all of the solutions, like nothing helped. They were telling me to run like SFC scan now to check for like corrupt like Windows or Microsoft files. I'm like, nah, bro, nothing helped. All of the CMD commands, all of the new Windows installations, none of the solutions were helping me. But in the end, yeah, I just took this out and uh, boom, no more problems. Everything's just stable as hell. I can now finish my Razer Chroma Christmas tree video because I did record a part of it. And then whilst trying to edit that video, that's when the blue screens began. Tomorrow I will drop the Razer Chroma Christmas tree video, all right? It, it, will be, it will be released now that the PC is back up and running. We're not blue screening every five minutes. I'll finally make that Razer Chroma Christmas tree video, man. But if I don't see you again, happy new year. Uh, hopefully you set some resolutions and actually write them down on like a piece of paper, write down some goals and really plan it out. Else, you know, your goal is, is just a wish, innit? So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in another video soon, all right? Where hopefully it's gonna be this Razor Chroma Christmas tree. Finally, I'm gonna release it, man. I'll see you then.